All right, I was just gonna kind of make a little video up because I'm building a saw setter. Watch some saw setters on the internet there. That's the one I'm building right there. So, I did a nice design on a saw set. You see some of the drawings, making some of the parts up. Um, hopefully I get it all put together, finish making these all these pieces up, get it assembled, make some video of it working, and maybe some other folks out there that are into uh, band mills and sharpening and fixing their own band blades up would like to uh, copy it or something. So I could uh, show some bits and pieces of how it works, but that's my CAD design right there. So maybe they might help someone else. And I watched some videos there on YouTube and and found one I liked. So I kind of kind of used that as a basis for my design. All right. anybody's interested. Oh, heavy duty Manix mill. That's a beautiful machine. Okay, all the pieces are done. They're all done. I'm going to start putting this baby together. There they all are, made to the files. Oh, hopefully it assembles well. Maybe it'll fine tune and we'll get this thing put together and try it out. Okay, we're getting it. We got the back back bar on there. There's two sides here I gotta tighten up a little bit. You square it away. You see those little cutouts there for that fine threaded adjustment bolt for the uh, height of the blade there. And a clearance slot here so you can get at it with an Allen wrench to adjust it. So that's how we're getting started. Okay, here's my completed saw setter. Um, looked at some YouTube videos and some ones other guys have done and some commercially available ones. I uh, decided the type I wanted to build that would I thought best suit my needs. So I went ahead with this Desteco style clamp, something that I'm familiar with anyway from being in the machining trades. You see these, we use these on jigs and fixtures anyway. So, a um, couple blocks of wood just to help keep the blade guided. Um, there you go, there's a bolt on top. And that pushes on the tooth. Right there, as you come down, you close it, pushes on the tooth. Uh, there's a spring loaded plate in there. Holds it against that, the, the back block. These are my two little setups here for for indexing and these pins I just leave them loose I can push them forward or slide them out of the road depending what direction I'm going the indicator that two should be set over there you go you're yeah, shoot for around 23 20 yeah between 22 and 25 but here let me show you how it works get to the next tooth stop it close the handle immediately you can see what it is 20 close it get our 22 out of it go to the next one there it is, close it, it's a little light, closer down, a couple more thou out of it. Probably could even adjust it up a little harder. And I'm getting by 22. Oops, I'm at the weld here. Let's go an extra one. But that's all you pretty much do at that point. Now this plate is junk, and you can see it's taking a taking a pretty serious beat in here. Yeah, this blade been bent, busted, destroyed, so it's kind of a crummy blade anyway but well, that's all you do once you get once you get on your tooth going to bend you just sit there and start close her up there it is from the side I give you a little lock it down um, I didn't do any kind of weldment this is all bolted together there you go bad blade uh, it's all bolted together 
give you an idea what the little arms look like in the back. And I just use a little rubber band on them just to hold them inward. Um, you know, it's obvious these go up and down. And then there's some adjustment here in the back. Adjustment here in the back, which moves that arm forward or back. Same on the other side, forward or back. That way, that's what you use to adjust the position of your blade over the indicator. You know, whether you want it moving a little forward, you can adjust this screw, moves that arm, you know, moves your blade forward or back over the indicator. And nice indicator mount back here. It's adjustable all around, up, down, left, right. Give you plenty of room every which way. And nothing but a couple blocks on the table just to guide it around. And that's pretty much it. Find your tooth you want to set, close her down, and go to time. And it's pretty doggone accurate. And it's quick. You don't have to really screw around. And compared to what I was trying to do before hammer setting them, I wasn't having a whole lot of luck with it. And it certainly wasn't very accurate. This works out pretty slick. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with sitting here setting the blade, but you can just go like this and boom, you get your set. Pretty accurate and quick. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully, this helps someone else build a saw setter of their own. All right, enjoy.